Right, so good evening. Um, I did a couple of things here today. I had a Mercedes-Benz fuel cutoff relay coming in and I got a computer, an ECU unit for 420 SEL, which is MB part number. And I took out the Bosch unit I had in here. So I took both of the aftermarket units out. And now is the question, the engine hasn't run in about two hours. And um, if you may remember from the other videos, what usually happens is I start the car and it will rev up and immediately drop off. Then I start again. We have no RPM signal. And then the third time it usually starts. This is what the seller told me already on eBay when I bought the vehicle. This is the problem he had. Now, the RPM gauge here is basically driven by the EZL by the ignition unit. And we have the uh, crankshaft position sensor, the rear crankshaft position sensor, which sits above on the bell housing, above your flywheel. And that unit feeds into the EZL. And then the EZL has an output, which is a fixed pulse width modulation at 50% varying in frequency. And it distributes that signal to the fuel pump relay or fuel cutoff relay to the ECU, to the idle speed control, and to the um, compressor unit, to the AC unit. Uh, besides of the signal coming out from the speedometer, the speedometer is picked up or fed by the um, Hall effect sensor in the transmission. And then it has a one pin output, which puts the RPM or the speed signal, what they call it, out into various different uh, devices. Uh, also, the ECU gets it. I believe the air conditioning unit, the, uh, the car radio gets it, the cruise control gets this, but that's a different story. What we want to see now, <clears throat> did the change to the manufacturer parts as a Mercedes-Benz fuel cutoff relay and the Mercedes-Benz ECU unit I have in here, did this fix now the starting problem? If the answer is no, then the issue is going to be either the uh, the uh, uh, the sensor on the flywheel, our crankshaft position sensor, or it is the EZL unit itself. It could be either one of the two. So here we go, and we will see. See, so it did not fix the issue. Yeah, so this is pointing now towards the EZL unit. We changed the fuel cutoff relay. And uh, so this is where the problem is actually coming from. This is a problem coming out of the EZL. And uh, let me just speed this up here a little bit. And what it actually should look like it when it works properly. This is the correct behavior. So, and now we're actually idling correct. We still have some residual heat left in here. I'm also having some issues in here <clears throat> with the uh, temperature gauge. That um, nut on the back with the screw is corroded and the oil, that's why that fluctates. Those two things. So it's the EZL or the sensor for the uh, flywheel positioning or what they call the um, crankshaft position. That's where that is at. We're gonna verify this with an oscilloscope. We're gonna take a look at the TD signal and we're gonna take a look at the sensor signal and we're gonna take a look and see if the EZL is actually firing the spark plugs or not. And then we will verify this and then we make a determination. Do we need a new EZL or do we need a new sensor or do we need to know, uh, do we need both of them? All right, that was the update. Have a good night.